and welcome back for another video and if you're new here then thank you for popping in and are watching uh, this video with us um, if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join the family and as you will have probably guessed from the title this is a boxing day sale haul well I haven't got that much stuff and I didn't go on boxing day I'll be honest um, the majority of our Christmas break I have spent at home doing literally nothing um, just chilling out, playing with the kids with their new toys um, but I did get a bit of cabin fever and one of these people that can't be in the house for too long so I needed to go out so I popped into um, one of our local towns and just thought I'd see what was still on offer and actually there are still some really good bargains out there so if you haven't been and you think oh it's too late I'll have missed everything then definitely go and check it out because I did go with a couple of things in mind that I wanted to get and I did manage to get most of them. So I'll just dive right in. First up, I went to Primark. I didn't have too long in Primark. It was the last shop I went to. But I did pick up a couple of bits. So I wanted to get some more pyjamas. I've had a couple of new sets for Christmas, but you can never have too many pyjamas, can you? And I saw on someone else's haul that they got like a box set one, which was obviously for Christmas um, in Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Um, I had some Harry Potter pyjamas for Christmas. These were a different set from Primark. So I thought I'd go in and try and find them. And they had literally one pair of this set left, which was £8 down to £3. And I would have bought it if there hadn't have been a size bigger than I needed. Now, I don't mind oversizing, um, but I thought the trousers would probably fall down. Um, this, on the other hand, I have oversized him because it's a night dress. And it's a Friends one. Absolutely love Friends. So this, again, should have been £8, which reduced down to 3 and as you can see there, it's just a big sort of t-shirt one that says, how you doing, Joey style. And it also comes with a little sleep mask, which I haven't got any sleep masks. So I thought that was quite cute. And £3, £3. I mean, this would do great for a little gift to keep for next year to put up for someone, any friends fans out there. Um, I did see, I don't know if it was reduced, I did see another sort of um, sleep t-shirt friends with Ross as the holiday armadillo on and I really laughed when I saw it but I'd already got this one in my basket and I wasn't sure if that one was reduced to go in and find that one it was hilarious and I'd literally watched that episode this morning so that was really funny I then picked up this lovely corduroy skirt um it's like an a-line mini skirt um got it in a size 12 which is my usual size got these beautiful tortoiseshell buttons down the front I'm not sure what colour they've said blue I think it's quite a light grey blue um colour but I already have this skirt I paid full price for which was eight pound full price um in sort of a rusty um terracotta colour which I absolutely love wear it all the time so when I saw this and it was in the sale for three pounds I snapped it straight up absolutely love it and they've got a few really nice skirts um on sale actually but that was the only one I could find in my size. Then, oh, what else have we got in here? Picked up these earrings. So I don't wear a lot of earrings. I really should start wearing more earrings. Um, saw these ones, like these little um, acrylic. They're like half grey, half pink. Reduced from £2 down to £1. And I thought they were dead cute. Would do for sort of everyday use i wear a lot of gray um i love this peach pink color so i thought they would be a nice one to have so for a pound i thought i'd pick those up hopefully i'll get some wear out of them and i'll start wearing more earrings and then when i was at the till i saw this tote bag again harry potter i solemnly swear that i'm up to no good and it's also got a little badge in the corner there that says property of hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry um, can never have too many little tote bags can you they're ideal for sort of rolling up putting in your handbag um, in case you're going shopping because I'm not paying 5p for a plastic carrier bag and I'm sure I've heard somewhere that they're going up to 10p for a plastic bag so I always keep uh, little bags like this in my handbag this was £3 reduced to £1 um, and I almost picked one up for my sister as well I didn't because I've not long bought her a Harry Potter tote bag but these again great for um, presents so if you didn't watch my DIY hamper set, uh, my, my DIY hamper gift ideas, um, I used a tote bag. I wrapped up some 
presents for some friends and pop them all in a little tote bag they've got a bag that they can reuse and it's really nice as like a little gift bag so that would be great for those um i'm not sure if they had any of their other tote bags on offer um that one was the only harry potter one that i saw that was on offer um i did pick up a few other bits from um primark but they were just not reduced bits just like beauty bits and stuff Pops in Poundland, um, there's still quite a lot of decorations and things reduced in Poundland, um, mainly obviously things down from a pound to 50p. I just picked up these two little beauty blenders, one in the shape of a Christmas tree, one a snowman, and I was looking for these before Christmas, I was going to get them and pop them in my friend's hampers, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So today when I saw them for 50p, I thought I'm going to pick them up for myself, you can never have too many beauty blenders can you, I'm really lazy at cleaning brushes and things. So um, I figured that'd be great, 50p each. Where else did we go? And then I think the only other shops I went to were Boots and Superdrug, which is obviously where you get the majority of your gift sets and things reduced down to half price. So I didn't get much from Superdrug, so I'll start off with there. I picked up the Zoella Reach for the Moon hand cream. Um, this is 90ml and I think, let me see if I've got my receipt. I'm not sure it tells you the original prices. But this was down to £1.50, £1.49. But I'm not sure. I can't find my receipt. Oh, there it is. No, it doesn't tell you the original prices, but I'm sure it would have been a lot more than £1.50. At least three quid. Uh, that would be at least half price, I would imagine. Um, really good size tube. I'm not a massive Zoella fan. I'm not... Um, I don't normally buy a lot of her stuff, but I quite like the packaging on these, um, on this range that she's bought out this sort of galactic stars holographic and for £1.50 that's a really good size hand cream um I also picked up from Superdrug again in the Zoella range this is the bath melts moisturizing solid bath oil and I'm sure this was just 99p yep these were 99p so you get two little solids in there they're 25 grams each and you just place them under running water and allow them to melt and then i would imagine they make your skin really soft and smooth in the bath so they're enriched with sheer butter extract definitely going to be nice and smoothing so i thought that would be nice to try i then picked up these studio london eye brushes so you get three eye brushes in there um, you get a blending brush, a slanted brush and a smudge brush and that was just £1.49 which I thought for three brushes was really good. It comes in this little packet as well. Um, I don't know what the hell I've done with my eye brushes but I cannot find them anywhere. I came to go out the other week wanting to do some eye makeup because um, I don't usually wear eye makeup on a daily basis. Um, just usually for nights out and things but I couldn't find an eye brush anywhere so uh, to sort of make do with some other brushes that I'd got so um I went out specifically to get some brushes and I thought £1.50 is dead cheap isn't it I think in Primark you usually pay a pound a brush so I thought that was really cheap and they're nice little brushes and then I think the only other thing I got from Superdrug let's check yeah I only bought four things was this which was at the till and it's this little panda bath fizzer um or bath bomb and i had my two youngest with me and they were like oh my god look at this cute little panda bath bomb um and it was only 49p so i was like even though you've had loads of bath bombs for christmas of course chuck it in the bag for 49p we can get the little panda one um i'm not sure what scent it is or how good it's going to be for 49p but they love a bath bomb and they'll have a bath bomb in every bath now probably up until easter we've probably got enough bath bombs for and now we're on to boots so this is the last few bits that i got but i did get quite a bit from boots they had quite quite a lot of stuff left the store i went into wasn't massive um and there was quite a lot of stuff left um probably a lot of stuff that not many people are looking for there was a lot of little mix makeup sets so if you know anyone who's obsessed with little mix then maybe go in and get some half price makeup sets um, from theirs. But there were quite a bit of other stuff and I managed to get the stuff that I wanted. So for Christmas, I meant to get some of these for my eldest. These are the touch uh, gloves. So they're gloves that he can wear and still use his phone. So hopefully he'll wear the gloves because he can still use his phone while he's wearing them and I won't have to worry about him freezing his hands off. 
Um, these should have been £6.50, so everything in the boot sale is um, half price. So they were £3.25, so hopefully he'll use them and he won't freeze his hands to death. Um, next up, I saw this cute little sanctuary candle, really sweet copper tin. If you've noticed, I love copper. I've got accents in my bedroom, so I thought this would be lovely to sit on my bedside table. It smells lovely, um, really luxurious, and I like this little pink bow as well. I'm not sure what scent it is. just says melt away candle signature sanctuary. Anyway, it smells lovely. Should have been £6, reduced to £3, which I think for the tin, um, you know, it does look quite posh. Quite expensive, so yeah, I thought that was dead nice. Bit of an impulse buy, I didn't go in there looking for a candle. Um, next up, I saw these Real Techniques um, by Sam and Nick 2 Mini Miracle Complexion Sponges in this little bauble. They were £6 originally, so they were down to £3. Um, again, can't have too many blenders, can you? Look, blenders everywhere I'll be having now. Um, and also, I really liked the little bauble that it came in, so I will take my beauty blenders out, I will pack that bauble away with my Christmas things, and I'll probably fill it with chocolates or something and pop it on my tree next year. Um, it's dead cute, the bauble, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's got little bits of glitter in, so that'll be nice to go on the tree next year as well. Then, like I said, I didn't have any makeup brushes the other day when I was looking for some to do my eyes. So I saw a couple of um, makeup brush sets had been reduced in boots, so I went in to have a look. I picked up two. I asked the kids which ones they thought I should get. So I picked up these ones, which I bought, and I picked up some Spectrum ones, which came with like a little mermaid purse thing. And the kids said I should pick, I should buy these ones, which is no surprise considering I have a severe Harry Potter obsession. So these are the Harry Potter Swish and Flick Cosmetic Brushes. All the handles are metal and they're made to look like the character ones. Um, you get a, an essential crease brush, fine line brush, shadow brush, shading brush and a fan brush. And yeah, I just thought they looked really nice. Obviously I love Harry Potter. The um, brushes were the sorts that I was looking for. I mean, I have already got a fan brush, but um, I needed some of these smaller little brushes. And they were originally £20 down to £10 in the sale. So they were cheaper than the Spectrum ones. And I did have a little feel of the brushes and they feel quite nice. Um, and the, because the handles are metal, they're quite weighty. So they feel like they're really good quality. And I mean, the detailing on the brush handles is um, insane, like really good detail. They really do look like the ones that they're supposed to be mimicking. That they're supposed to be mimicking. So yeah, really like those. So I'm glad I got my brushes, which is what I went for. Um, I also needed some shampoo. Um, I've had quite a few little tester sample ones that have come through in subscription boxes and stuff recently, and I've been using those. But I could do with a decent shampoo. And um, they've got a couple of uh, sets in there. I went for this one which came in this lovely bag which says naughty but nice and it's like a clear pink uh, cosmetic bag a plasticky one and it's got all glitter in it this is by um, Lee Safford and it is the Choco Lox and you basically just get a shampoo and conditioner they're really big sizes actually so this was originally £14 reduced obviously to seven which I think for two um, of the Lee Stafford products which are really good sizes and the lovely little bag I mean I love a bag I don't know why I'm so obsessed with like cosmetic bags I don't know but they're really good size products I'm um, not sure if it tells you how much 250 mils in each of those and they are supposed to smell like chocolate oh and they really do that really smells like chocolate oh it's gorgeous so yeah these are Great for creating smooth, glossy locks that smell almost good enough to eat. Um, so yeah, I just want something that's going to smooth and nourish my hair, which it sounds like it will do. And I'm going to enjoy using these, I think, if it's going to make my shower smell like chocolate every time. So yeah, happy with those. £7 for those and we'll see what they're like. Um, I haven't used Lee Stafford shampoo and conditioner for ages. Used to be obsessed with the um, straightening ones. 
but I haven't used them for ages. So when I saw those, I thought I would give them a go. And they were probably the best size um, products you could get with the hair care range ones. They were quite small products, the other ones. Um, but they still had a few of those in stock. I then picked up, you're going to think I'm sort of Zoella obsessed because this is the third Zoella product now. This little pencil case um, by Zoella, which just says, make your mark. I really like the blue leaf print on it. I think it's really pretty. And I'm thinking of just using this to store my makeup brushes in because um, I haven't really got anywhere to store them. I don't have a dressing table as such. Um, I get up super early during the week for work um while everyone else is in bed so i tend to do my makeup downstairs so all my stuff's just shoved it in a little drawer somewhere so i thought i could keep all my brushes in there keep them all neat and that was reduced down to three pounds thought that was really nice and then my last two items are just some little makeup items uh which i didn't really need if i'm honest but i saw them and i thought mm, that's quite a good price so first up i've got this just the highlights from Soap and Glory. And this has got a cream blush, a primer, and a three step highlighting kit. And it says you'll be all set for a flawless photo finish look, if I can ever open it to show you. So there is a little mirror, and then you've just got your primer, you've got a blush, and you've got two highlights and a bronze. So I thought that was really nice, really nice little set. Sort of got everything in that you need. For a quick look yeah i thought that was really nice and that was 14 pounds down to seven so nice little set for seven pounds and then i picked up this eyeshadow palette because i haven't got a lot of nude eyeshadows and um realistically that's the sort of eye look i'm going to go for i like to do a very bold lip if i'm going out a red or burgundy something quite striking on my lips so i tend to try and keep my eyes quite neutral so I saw this one it was 16 pounds originally down to eight and there you can see you've just got a really nice selection of nude so you get 10 eyeshadows in there a little brush and there is a mirror in the top as well and there's a good mixture in there of sort of mattes and shimmers I think you get three mattes three mattes and the rest shimmers but a really nice mix of colours nice range all the way through and that is it that's everything i picked up in the boxing day sales but as you can see i still got quite a few bits i could have bought a lot more to be honest um but i didn't want to get too much obviously most of this is for me what, who am i kidding all of this is for me barring the gloves for my son um so yeah i wasn't out to spend loads of money um but i did need brushes cosmetic brushes which i went out for and i wanted some new pajamas um which i picked up in primark and some shampoo which i also got in boots so i would definitely say especially boots there wasn't a lot in superdrug but definitely boots go and have a look and um see what's still available in your local store and they've still got quite a few fragrance sets as well in boots but i wasn't looking for fragrance so yeah um definitely don't think oh i didn't get up and go out on boxing day i'm not going to get anything good there are still really good deals out there to be had so anyway sorry this video was quite lengthy and let me know what you picked up in the boxing day sales let me know if you've avoided them like the plague and they're just not your thing also let me know what your favorite thing is that i bought mine is definitely going to be the harry potter ones i cannot wait to use these i'm going to use these when I'm doing my New Year's Eve makeup. I cannot wait. Thanks for watching guys anyway. Um, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button and join the family. And let me know if there's any sorts of videos that you'd like to see me do in the future. Um, in the comments box below. I love interacting with you guys. And I would love to do content that you were going to enjoy in the future. So let me know what you would like to see. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Thanks. Bye.